Estamos TV, and today we're here with um, at Latino Fashion Week Chicago 2013 with one of the founders, Caesar. How Hi, are Caesar. you? Good. If you wanted to introduce yourself and tell us a little bit more about Latino Fashion Week. Sure, absolutely. My name is Cesar Rolón. I'm one of the co-founders of Latino Fashion Week. This year we're celebrating our seventh annual here at Block 37 Mall on State Street, as you can see. We just kind of wrapped up our show uh, featuring Chicago local designers, and I think it was uh, pretty successful. What do you think? I think it was amazing. Um, what does being a Latino mean to you? What does that kind of inspire this? I got to tell you, you know, uh, when I came up with the idea of Latino Fashion Week, it was the idea stormed from somebody pissing me off. So how's that first, okay? You need to tell us the story. That's exactly how, you know, don't piss off a Latino. So that's first and foremost. And basically what happened was that uh, there was a dress form competition here in Chicago. And they were, uh, I bought a mannequin. And when the mannequins, I specifically requested they be designed by a Latino designer from Chicago. Uh, they came back and told me they couldn't find me one. So that's where the idea of starting a Latino Fashion Week pretty much came about. And about a month later, after I held a press conference, uh, I got a call from the Associated Press saying, hey, you know, if you do this, you're going to be the only event of its kind. So here we are seven years later and uh, discovering designers. You know, when we started Latino Fashion Week, um, there were no models in the, in the modeling agency. Mm -hmm. And now you see what we have down the catwalk. What do you see um, Latino fashion like evolving into? I mean, this is its seventh year. What do you see it for it for the future? Well, the thing is that you know what we try to do here is that it's, we want to be we want to be able to elevate the perception of who we are. Mm -hmm. There's an abundance of talent here. We come from all walks of life. We come from all colors. You know, I mean, you see me. I've, I've got the light eyes, but until you piss me off, really, nobody knows that I'm Puerto Rican. Uh, but with that being the case, you know, hey, probably so. But at the same time, you know, we are, we're, we're a great spending power. We're a phenomenal spending power. We have a great deal of talent. And um, it really, it's, it's special also because of the fact that we officially represent the United States in the Association of Latino Fashion Weeks. So that allows us to travel outside in Latin America and bring that fresh talent here. And when they look at us, they, they, it's, it's their luck charm to come here because they think, oh, my God, I'm going to the United States to actually you know, to actually feature. And you're going to see them, some of them, Friday and Saturday here this week. That's really exciting. Um, how did, well, how did Arabelle get into this? I know that she's, you know, how, what role does she play in this as well? Well, actually, a few months later, I formed a, a committee. And then at that point, uh, uh, you know, we became co-founders. Mm -hmm. And uh, ever since, you know, we've, we have, we've evolved in putting this together to what it is today. You know, we started off with a, you know, with, with a one-day show to then the very next year being picked up by Macy's to now having American Airlines as our official travel partner. And they travel, you know, they, we, you know, we do a lot of traveling through American, but then they fly, you know, our designers in. And let me tell you, I mean, when you think of, look at someone like Kanani, you know, for America's Next Top Model, who's Cuban and Puerto Rican here from Chicago. Mm -hmm. You know, then you have someone like Deborah, you know, from The Voice. And it also gives you a great deal of grace when you actually see all of the local talent walking here in the runway. I mean, they walk away incredibly proud that as being Latinos, yes. that they're actually able to participate in this kind of a show. Correct. Um, where, what are some of the, where are some of the places that you guys are expanding to? Latino Fashion Week is not just in Chicago. Tell us a little bit more about where it goes. Well, you know, last year we just expanded to Miami and Los Angeles and, and also Dallas. So uh, we're already thinking about doing something internationally. But we're getting there, and uh, and we have some bigger platforms that we're actually taking abroad. But Miami is is next right now on our agenda in November. So maybe you may want to come with us. Oh, that would be amazing. Gostamos comes along too. Um, does um, at these places do you guys go because there's a big um, Latino population, or what? Do you, how do you guys pick these? Actually, we go because we're being requested. I mean, when these designers from other cities find out that there's a Latino Fashion Week. We get bombarded with information as to how can they be a part of us. Why can't we bring it there to, to their city? I mean, we just made history in Los Angeles. How sad is that? Wow. It's happy for us, but how sad is that we actually just made history in Los Angeles? Well, I think that Latino Fashion Week, this, this is my first time coming, and I'm pretty sure I would love to come again. Thank you so much, Caesar. Thank for you, Gosamos, for being a part of us and also for having Gosamos in our house. Yes. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Um, tell us, like, tell the viewers where they could find more information about Latino Fashion Week. How even they could be a part of it, volunteering, anything. Oh, you can always volunteer. We're always looking for volunteers. There's only two of us, but you can actually look us up on the website at www.latinofashion.